Hello there and welcome back to Ryuku East on, uh, well, a new computer, finally. I, uh, it took me a while to actually get this uh, up and running again, uh, probably due to uh, the fact that I now have U4 and, well, I love it so far. It's I'm still doing on the first impressions videos, but so far I'm uh, on the side, so to speak. It's very fun, it's very entertaining for me to play it. So I'll probably start up a game pretty soon there, but enough about that, this is uh, EU3 Ryuku East part 32 I believe. And I don't, honestly don't remember what we did last time, I pre-recorded a lot simply to uh, to make sure that I, uh, I had something to upload and that when I was without a computer it wouldn't really end up uh, hurting anyone. I actually got back to the uh, city without a computer on... Uh, on the 11th or the 12th, so I've been without for four days or so. No, I actually got back on the 9th when I think about it. So yeah, I pre-recorded a week before I got back to the city and then I was simply been doing some stuff. But back to my topic, uh, if I don't remember too, if my not memory serves me well, uh, we were at war with Castile, among other things. And also some, uh, if I remember also correctly, on the forums, forums on YouTube. Uh, the commentaries. Someone said I would not be able to pull this neither of the games off without breaking the infamy limit and that I've been very clear of more or less, I believe myself at least, that yeah I will be breaking the infamy limit and I will be breaking it pretty bad but I won't do so before uh, before late in the game and we just reached 22 trade which is quite good but as I said I won't be doing that before pretty darn late in the game so uh, it will be a hard uh, a little end, end to it I guess but still it should be possible without too much too much too many troubles as far as I know what we're currently doing is uh, fighting Castile mostly on a general basis just uh, using the we'll keep him diplomacy 9 using our uh, uh, what's it called uh, or what's his name let's see here using the colonialism to our advantage and just, uh, well, doing whatever we can. I, I think colonialism is the only thing that I can really rely on until I get, uh, let's see here, the revolution, counter-revolution on 53 otherwise. Yeah, colonialism is what I will have to, uh, have to focus on. And I'll artificially create a reason for me to use it later on, and that is by taking Cherson, Podolia, in Kiev, basically cutting Bohemia off from everything they have to the east, and I should probably do that quite soon. My think about it, so uh, we will. Uh, if I'm not too mistaken, I actually am currently moving narrow-minded. Yeah, I am. So we'll go ahead and agree to the, their demands. And as I said, we'll prepare an army. We'll send it to take uh, Ruthenia and Lublin. Could actually work out pretty well as well. Then we could take that way. Simply keep on going, th going thus. These two will be uh, uh, landlocked in the beginning, I think. But still, I think it will give me colonialism cast a spell. I can't really promise it. Uh, I don't really know. It's kind of a shadow zone, I guess I should call it. Actually, go to court on Kilva. I believe I actually have a truce with these guys. We'll have to do a little check on it. Yeah, I actually have a truce, but free cause. Who, co <laughs> who cares? Who complains? Could also just go ahead and declare colonialism on uh, these guys, I think. But yeah, there's a lot of things I want to test out, a lot of things I want to try, and all in all, I think uh, it will be interesting to see how this game actually turns out in the end. This will probably take another, I don't know, 20 30 episodes to finish up. So uh, we'll keep this going for a while, along with U4, where I'll have them run uh, simultaneously, basically, probably either. With the Crusade Kings 2 games too, I'll probably run uh, 2 plus 1. That will say that I'll upload one of each. Uh, that is Crusade Kings 2 and EU4 example. Then next day EU4, EU3. Then next day EU3, Crusade Kings uh, 2. And probably that way if I can't upload a, a video a day basically. So we'll have to see how I'll uh, sort that out. But for now, I'll uh, put it on pause. I'll go ahead and deal with uh, any troubles, I guess. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. I, uh, I think they should get pretty, pretty darn interesting in uh, the long run. So uh, stay put. 
the culture in Pipil just became uh, Japanese along with a couple of revolts. Once again, some issues with that. I should probably also go ahead and deal with this one. I completely forgot about it. And my bad, I'm currently dealing with these uh, on my own, so to speak. Savoy has done well here, and as far as I know, I'm actually tempted to do a Savoy game in Need 4 2 as uh, try to create Sardinia Piedmont, something I've not done before. And there we go, this, uh, well, I got nationalism against, well, basically a lot of people, and I can also take another idea now, and that idea is pretty much self explanatory in uh, cabinet infamy reduction, huge infamy reduction. But uh, what was I talking about? I got, uh, let's see here, nationalism, I believe, on who? I'll do a quick check on that. Let's see here. Nationalism. Nationalism on Ta Japan, Minamoto, Tachibana, Fujiwara, Teira, Korea, Manchu, Ming. So yeah, I can actually start in this H2. It's 50 infamy though, so uh, yeah, we'll probably not go for that. However, I could probably start to create some trouble over here. But once again, we'll have to see, because uh, as far as I have a better CB, I will use it. Nationalism is good enough. I uh, can't really complain that much about it, but still, it's uh, not exactly what I uh, was looking for. As I said, what I'm planning to do now is more or less send, uh, currently training 40k men here, that I will send to... Uh, I'll actually go ahead and send them to, uh, to Bohemia, right away, straight away more or less. And then I'll use them to uh, try and cut out. I'm a little bit... Uh, I have to think a little bit how I want to do this. I'll probably cut off here, Lublin and Ruthenia as a test. And if that doesn't work, I'll uh, go for uh, Jerson and Serbia afterwards. It'll cost me a little bit of extra infamy. But if this actually works, I will be able to take the entire steps this uh, high uh, infamy zone for scraps basically. Austria I can actually do the same here. It'll be a little bit more difficult but I know as far as I, if I can take Trace and Adern here, they will be cut off and in theory the same will actually happen if I take Crane and Slavonia. But I don't really know. Uh, as you know they have a straight here and that is no, they don't have a straight here, but they still have control of the provinces. I don't know if they have the capital linked by C, it's probably it. So in theory, I could probably do the same with Austria here, try to take these three, and then... Well, since the capital is over here, it would mean that this is distance overseas for them. In theory, that's exactly what the problem is here, it's only a theory. I'll, uh, I'll have to actually put it, give it, a, <laughs> give it a, a test, so to speak, to see if it actually works. And I did not get any warning of those rebels. If I did, I unfortunately skipped the course to speak. Now reminded once again, I need to fall the stability costs basically to uh, to try and lower it. I think I can actually declare war on uh, on the Castilians now. No, it's still a little bit of <laughs> a little bit to go on. But yeah, that is my plan as far as the current plan is concerned. Also, I've set to, uh, to get a new army composition. Since probably these 40k men are the only thing that I will, uh, in the event of uh, this, actually drop in the area. So, as you can see, there are 10 5 fives with uh, some helpful CG and well battle purposes because they will basically just be uh, just be sitting there. And as you can see, I don't have a castle's bell eye on these guys either, but it will be a fun little test, I guess. And the first victim of this will be uh, Austria. I'll give it a give it a little bit of a go and see how uh, how it turns out. If this actually works, the Olympus, one of our ships has been lost. Well, that actually <laughs> that is my bad setback or waste of money. Depends on how you want to look at it. But yeah, I should have sent them some other way. Uh, I didn't really think about it playing too much uh, U4 I guess or and well basically just I screwed up I need to uh, need to pull myself together need to build a new navy and hopefully it won't take uh, take me too long but I'd like to see we'll give it two years and then we'll uh, then we'll make another attempt we'll fight Castile before that but still 
It's uh, my bad. Let's see. It. Three, four, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Damn it! Appalash. Four, there we go. And I think I could also go ahead and do this. I don't get why this sometimes. Yeah, a flight will. There we go. Now I'll simply have to wait two years and then we'll, uh, then we'll make another attempt at this. Uh, it became extremely expensive. And we'll actually go ahead and put some extra money into the treasury for the time being. And for once this thing actually stayed where I wanted it to stay. But I really don't know what I want to invest in now. I should probably invest in land. But we'll go ahead and invest a little bit in everything for the time being. And we'll see how it turns out. Deficits. Should be okay. Nazca. Do some building here. That bring me, brought me back again under the deficit limit. We'll actually take this up to... We'll do that for now. And we should probably also do rebels here. I can't actually remember the last time we actually had rebels in our heartlands, but it's been a while ago. But for now, we'll go ahead, wait, fight Castile probably, and see how it turns out. There we go for a quick little war <laughs> reconquest. Well, basically took uh, took back my province here, and also had them receive all the claims on other lands here. But. Uh, we have chosen the right path, I guess. <laughs> Stability costs high, but yeah, we, as you can see, we're currently still building, and there is one big minus that I really uh, didn't really think about then right now. Uh, because of things moving along at such a quick pace now, with infamy, it's down to three, which is dangerously low. I can only take three, and that is less than a, a year, basically, and. I can take Surt here, I can take a couple of other provinces, but all in all, things aren't really looking that well in terms of uh, infamy burning. I'm actually going to probably have to, uh, have to take a quick pause since I will most likely reach zero before, uh, before too long, and well, all in all, that ain't really a positive note. Did Castile seriously, yeah, Castile seriously annexed Mecklenburg up there. So yeah, as I said, it's not on a positive note because I want to keep burning infamy. So once these ships are done, we will be moving pretty fast uh, down the line towards uh, trying to take, well, other lands, I guess I should say. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going a little bit faster than I anticipated. And well, it's basically thanks to my computer because uh, I'm not used to this kind of speed. It's going very much faster than what I'm used to. As you might imagine, this thing is new compared to the old, uh, old laptop, so to speak. So yeah, things are actually moving along in a pretty good pace. And well, since it's not really that much I'm asking for, it's also quite easy to make our peace deals. So we'll go ahead and place these guys here, send these guys back, <laughs> back a little while. And I should also go back to uh, here, drop down a couple of colonists. And well, as you might imagine, the plan is now to uh, consolidate the ships that I just created and also consolidate the troops. Go everyone here. Let's see here. There we go. And also the guys over there. And once we've actually consolidated them, we'll send them first to Africa. Yeah, I actually built for four, I built too many. Well, who cares? We can cause a lot of cores, I believe that's the first African war, something like that. Uh, prices are on the way up, I guess. We don't get inflation, inflation, so who cares. I built up actually too many armies. Well, we'll solve that another way. Build some more fleets, because that is the easiest way to, uh, to, to fight this, so to speak. We'll build five more, and no, actually need six when I think about it, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we'll build them, then we'll send these guys to either... No, I do not want to do that. Either uh, nationalism on Great Britain. That's a bit of a weird move. But still, we'll uh, go ahead and build them. And once we have, we'll 
to declare war on uh, on either Austria or Bohemia. I'm not really sure yet, but one of them will suffer and will most likely go after them without. And hopefully, if this plan works, I'll end up with a lot of more well, enemies to fight thanks to uh, thanks to the thanks to. Everywhere uh, slipped my tongue today, thanks to the quest for New World and the colonialism cast a spell eye. So, yeah, this is potentially quite a. will be working pretty darn great, so to speak. And yeah, we'll first, I think, make a move on, on Bohemia with these guys over there. But uh, we'll split them into category 2. Then we'll take Austria afterwards because Bohemia isn't really something that I believe will make that many moves. They have a lot of land to cover. Austria and the other thing will probably hold the shit out of everyone around them for the next 10 years before it disappears. So, yeah, all in all, I think we are currently in a position where attacking Bohemia is our smartest move. It will hurt my stability right now, but we'll go ahead and do so. Take, took also two extra stability hits and some more exhaustion, but. I think it will be worth it in uh, in the long run. Can't really see any reason why it wouldn't be. And hopefully, we'll be able to move this off. What I didn't really anticipate right now is that they actually have a fleet standing there, so our army or our ships will probably be crushed. We'll go and park. We lost two transports, so uh, it could be could have been a lot worse. We'll go ahead, siege everything, and well, cause trouble. I need to pay more attention to rebels. You might ask yourself though, why why aren't I just having these guys on auto hunt? Well, I probably should since I don't have that many rebels. But in uh, in the event of well, much more rebels than there is right now, it will hurt me more than uh, more than I will gain. So yeah, that will be an interesting uh, twist of fate. Currently moving towards us, I uh, got another <laughs> on uh, on Mudapal. It seems I can only get on uh, one guy. Let's see here. We'll move to Ruthenia, take them down. Hopefully, I guess. Siege of Churson, they took it back. Bohemia. Or... So yeah, right now the plan is to uh, make this our base over here. Right now, good for this. Yeah, I'll actually lose my transports once once more. But now I don't really have that much of a, uh, a use for them, so I think it should be uh, should be quite uh, quite all right. What we'll be doing in this war is simply just waiting now, try to get Bohemia's war exhaustion up, and try to keep our style down. Although I can't really promise anything. Once again, I'm really good at that, not promising anything. I did not want to build a march. That was not part of my plan. Did these guys actually win against Bohemian Navy? Well, it doesn't matter, I don't know. But yeah, we'll try to take Lublin and Ruthenia and then see if we can get Colonialism because, well, if we don't get it, it's uh, not that much of a deal. But still, we would we would prefer to get it. I think Bohemia would run, but we actually didn't. Which is a little bit of a surprise. But still, we should be able to defeat them here. Yeah, we did. And this should in turn allow us to hunt them down, destroy them. Hopefully, that is. No, we'll probably won't be able to destroy them. We'll be able to hurt them, but not destroy them. They want to die in white peace, although I don't accept. They're running too far away. We will take Churson back though. And yeah, destroy. As you can see, our army is without question currently the world's strongest. There is no one who'd say, tell me that it isn't in this game. As you can see it's 12, 13% stability increase to plus 2. And well, we should probably focus on making the peace deal quite soon. And well, I think we can actually force the peace deal I want pretty darn. Pretty probably now, let's see here. If I demand these two, will you give it to them? Yeah, they actually give it to me along with... No, that they would not. But still. 0.3, I won the war against Bohemia, uh, war and war, we did just kick their asses, and we'll wait for the month, let's see here, did I gain colonialism now, or is it, yeah, it was just a fleeting dream, 
Yeah, this one I don't really get. Why the hell would that actually matter to me? That it's part of the Empire. Abandon. Yeah, that sucks. We'll actually go ahead and try to dismantle the whole Roman Empire, I think. Bavaria is currently leader. But still, we'll actually have to just go for that one. And it'll cost us the ability point, but we'll uh, leave the Empire soon enough. But yeah, I really thought that this would actually possibly give me uh, the cast of spell I was hoping for, but uh, it seems that I was mistaken and it just wasted a lot of infamy. So probably I'll be fighting a lot in Asia in the time to come. And such will send these guys back to. Uh, back to. Uh, back to North America. Simply to. Uh, first, first of all, we'll be building another 50k troops there. And. We'll send them to uh, Japan, take it from them. And other lands that we can get for cheap, probably Mudapau. Anywhere else, because our infamy burn now will be pretty great. And, well, I won't get anything from these two, they'll simply be there for show. I'll have a good army to uh, attack Europe from, I guess. But other than that, not really that much. My diplomat just died, and we're back at plus two. I need a new diplomat, level six, lucky me. But yeah, that is, uh, that's this episode, we didn't really do much, we showed Bohemia who's boss, they got some rebel issues as you can see, uh, just as I do, but I don't really pay too much attention to them, and we'll probably end up regretting that soon enough, so we'll send the, those guys there, and we'll send those guys down there. But as I said, this will be the end of this episode of Ryuku East. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, some praise, criticism, anything you feel like really, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye!